What is up guys, guys, and I'm Zero one here with another FIFA 16 video. As you see by the title of this episode, yesterday I talked about if the keepers in FIFA 16 still suck, do they still make those same stupid mistakes, do they still struggle against these shots that really should be stopped, and in this episode, we're going to be talking about do the EA server still suck. But we'll get to that a little bit later. First, we're going to play our second game of this foot draft. You see here he's got a solid team with Ronaldo up front. He was doing crosses all game long, and I was pleasantly surprised to see that none of them actually went through, and he was unable to score those crazy shots, those crazy crosses that in FIFA 13 and FIFA 14 you really could take advantage of. But like FIFA 15, doesn't seem to be too overpowered. It still crosses and headers are a little bit more overpowered than in FIFA 15 but they're still not too overpowered but anyways here is what i was talking about guys this is what we're going to focus on in this episode once again the ea servers go down or whatever happened they kicked him out luckily it wasn't me i did not get the loss i did not get the win either but i stay with that one win that i had in the previous episode and this is something to the credit of ea maybe it was that his, there was something wrong with his internet or his Xbox turned off or something like that, but this really shouldn't be happening. There's been so many FIFAs with the same problem. You would expect EA to fix it, and hopefully they still have time. They still can fix it, but it doesn't look too promising because it happens all the time. So we go to this second game. Hopefully this one, we get to play it through the whole way. I get the first opportunity with Ronaldo. Unfortunately for me, he was able to stop it. And again, guys, once it gets to halftime, I recommend you use up all three of your subs. That's what I do here. I bring in Alexis Sanchez. I bring in some other players with the bunch of speed just to change it up a bit with more stamina just because I know a lot of my players their stamina's went way down because it is later in the game and stamina really does make a big difference here in FIFA 16. Get another opportunity with Ronaldo. Unfortunately, once again, the goalie's able to stop it. And then I get one wide open opportunity. But unfortunately for me, the keeper was able to stop it. And I'm pretty sure that in FIFA 15, that would have been a goal. Unfortunately for me, in FIFA 16, it was not a goal. The ground shot was unable to get underneath the goalkeeper in for the goal. So he does keep it at 0-0. And here you guys can see... I'm struggling a little bit on offense here in FIFA 16. I'm getting some of these close passes, but once I get it right next to the goal where I need one more pass, one more good move, I am unable to do it to score. But it goes to penalties. It goes after extra time. It goes all the way to penalties, and I make my first penalty, the usual tactic to the top right. And then he takes his first penalty, and I'm just looking to take away the left and not jump, not dive, not do any of that. Just make sure I just stay right there towards the left and try to stop him from scoring I do the same type of penalty again and I score a two to one and once again I'm just gonna keep going with the same tactic I'm not gonna let him get into my head but unfortunately for me again guys I can't stress this enough you must press up with your left and right analog stick in order for that ball not to go over your head even if you guess right if the ball is gonna go over your head and you do not press up on your thumbsticks it will go over your head and you will not stop it so make sure it's not just standing in the right place you also have to move your analog sticks but anyways we do get we keep making some both of us scoring a bunch of goals and then I noticed right away here he messes up and he hits it outside I didn't even have to dive and he misses his first opportunity and it gets into my head a little bit I decided to take it to the left as you saw there and that was a big mistake I should have just kept going with what was going for me with my right footed players I usually like to take it to the right side and my left footed players to the left side unfortunately there I thought I got he got in my head I thought he might have expected that coming so I took it to the left side he was able to stop it and the game continues he makes that one off the post once again he almost misses he's getting a little bit too risky luckily for him it was Ronaldo so he has great penalty kick stats so he can make those shots but he might not be able to get away with that all the time and once again you see by the amount of power he applies into his shots you knew that he was trying to place it more than power it past you so I was just taking my time and looking for the ball and then reacting because I knew he didn't have much power into his shots I had the time to react and that's exactly what happened there in that final shot I moved a little bit to the left and then I noticed he was gonna go that way so I just dove a little bit just to make sure that he couldn't get it past me and that's exactly what won me the game again guys not a pretty game my offense not nearly where I want it to be passing is really really difficult in this game but 
I'm gonna get better. I know I'm gonna get better, and I'm just gonna keep practicing. My defense is still top notch. I'm still being able to keep the other team from scoring, and that's a good thing. But anyways, that's how this game ends, guys. 0-0 on penalties. So I do get my second win of this foot draft, and I have already the second prize. Two more wins, and I win the best prize the mega prize hopefully i can do that guys if you haven't checked out yesterday's videos i did make two different videos one about the goalkeepers and if they struggle and the other one about the first thing you want to do when you get fifa 16 the very first thing you want to do in terms of settings and stuff like that so i want to thank you guys so much for the support keep giving me likes keep sharing my videos if you find them helpful um, click on the left if you want to see my tutorials on FIFA 15. On the right if you want to see my Division 1 tip series from FIFA 15. And down below to subscribe. And don't worry guys, there's going to be a whole bunch more videos and a whole bunch of tutorials coming soon. So stay tuned guys. Thank you.